everybody to Fall Food Friday 2021 week four the last Fall Food Friday of the year. I can't wait to see everybody's videos for today. I think we're gonna have close to 200 videos on the playlist. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you go check them out. I'm gonna have the playlist linked in the description box for y'all. We have people riding horses and different things in the background. Oil changing things, they're playing a game. <laughs> that is your he, I know it. Is Tyler playing with you? All right, if you posted a Fall Food Friday video for this week, make sure you let me know in the comments. If I missed anybody from last week, let me know that also. I'm kind of behind on comments. I don't think I missed anybody, but if I did, just comment down below and I'll get you added to the playlist too. I can't wait to see what everybody made this week. We made beef stew with sweet potatoes. Peekaboo! <laughs> I got some uh, pumpkin spice eggnog from Aldi. You wanna try it? Yeah, I'll try a little bit. I like eggnog this time of year. Let's see. Eggnog! This is a nice fall color there. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it kind of just tastes like a liquid pumpkin pie. I really like eggnog. I mean, this time of year. I wouldn't that's drink good. it in July if I got through shoeing a hole or something. Oh no. That's good, y'all, and I don't like eggnog. That tastes like liquid pumpkin pie. Did that shoe come off that Daddy put on there? Did it come off? What happened? You putting a new shoe on him? Well, one thing I like about this farrier is he keeps his tools on his horse. <laughs> okay, we gotta go ahead and get supper started here. We are making Instant Pot Sweet Potato Beef Stew. You don't have to do this in Instant Pot. You can just do it on the stove top. You know, you would need to change a few things, but yeah, you can totally switch this from an Instant Pot recipe to stove top or even slow cooker. It's just gonna take a little while longer. I need it to be kind of quick tonight, so Instant Pot it is. So we're gonna put it on the saute setting and I'm putting in just a little bit of oil. Need more than that. Let me get some more. There we go. I'm using a little over three pounds of stew meat. The original recipe only calls for one to two pounds. So I may have to add a little more of stuff here and there, but I'm gonna have the original recipe down below for y'all. So we're just putting in the stew meat and we're gonna brown it and then remove it. It finally stopped raining, so everybody's out sitting on the back porch. Okay, so while this is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get all the vegetables ready. We're gonna be using sweet potatoes, you know, instead of regular potatoes. And I told y'all this, sorry that that is very simmery loud over there. But I told y'all this the other day, with sweet potatoes, it's easier to dice them up or whatever, peel them, chop them, whatever, if you heat them up a little bit first. So I'm gonna stick them in the microwave. Okay, so we're gonna remove the stew meat now. Sit it over to the side. So we've still got it on saute. We're gonna put the carrots and celery and onions in here. And I'm just gonna break the onions up, you know, like this and throw them in. Now, I'm so sorry it fogs up so terribly. <laughs> now we're gonna cook the carrots and celery and onions on saute for about five minutes. We're gonna need some minced garlic, so we're gonna use this. We need Worcestershire sauce, and I believe it's in here. Ta Tomato paste, and we need beef broth. All right, so this has been going for about five minutes. We're gonna add in the garlic. I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons and this whole can of tomato paste. Now we're just gonna mix this together and let it stay on saute for a couple more minutes. Now we're putting in three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna do about four tablespoons. And beef broth. I'm gonna use this whole carton since I'm making a little more. 
We're going to stir this. I'm going to turn it off the saute setting now. And I'm just scraping on the bottom to make sure there's nothing stuck on the bottom. If there's ever anything stuck on the bottom and you try to then go to pressure cook, it'll tell you food burn and won't let you do anything. <laughs> now we're going to put the beef back in. And that's it for now. We're going to cover it and it's going to cook on the meat setting for 30 minutes. Meat stew right there. And we're going to go down to 30. Make sure it's sealed. There we go. While that's cooking, we're going to make some cornbread. y'all it finished cooking on the meat setting for 30 minutes we did a quick release of the pressure I'm just gonna stir it up and then we're gonna add in the sweet potatoes this smells so good sweet potatoes going in the cornbread is almost done everybody's back in here now okay so we've got the lid back on it's sealed we're gonna cook it on high pressure for the recipe said 10 minutes but I did you know that was for regular potatoes and since I'm using sweet potatoes and I put them in the microwave to soften them up so they would be easier for me to chop up, I'm only gonna go with seven minutes on high pressure and then we're gonna let it do a slow release whenever it gets finished with the cook time. Okay, so it took it about 30 minutes to do the slow release. Now we're gonna put it on saute. Hi, milk. Huh? You want some milk? Okay, I'll get you some milk. Okay, he saw a cow on the milk. So we've got it on saute. I'm putting in a little bit of a cornstarch and water mixture. We're just gonna stir that around. It's already come to a simmer. So we're just gonna let it simmer for about five or 10 minutes and it's done. We'll be ready to eat. I am gonna put in a little bit of salt and pepper. That's it. back to today that beef stew was amazing it really was so good once again I think we made a beef stew not long ago and I've told y'all before I don't usually like beef stew but I liked that recipe and this recipe that we just made so maybe I'm just starting to like beef stew I don't know it was good <laughs> all right we're gonna take a look back at week three and see who all participated in fall food Friday first up for last week we have Takayla Christine southern country living shop sip saute Mama Cat's Home, Appalachian American Homestead, Our Small Town Life, Chaotic Country, Debbie's Kitchen, Missy J. White, A Mess Called Jess, Vonda C, Big Steak on the Grill, The Curitans, Home Sweet Homes, The Hargett Life, Jerry B., Taurus Family Living, The Hodgepodge Life of Jesse, Missouri Grown Carolina Home, Blended with Love and Adventure, Lauren's Southern Life, If the Creek Don't Rise, 
In the Kitchen with Mama Mel, Managing the Maze, Homewrecker, Caitlin Dugan, Anna's Home Cooking, Tara Moore and Family, Living the Simple Life, My Mom Life, Cooking with Neighbors, Blessed Jess, Rachel Connolly, What's Cooking with Tay, Our Blessed Family, Cardav Gomez and Boys, Krista's Kitchen, Kingdom Barbecue Catering Service, Camille Berry, Lazy Creek Homestead, Simply Enjoying Life, Create with Linda, Steffi Kay's Farm Family, Debbie Food Prepping, Melissa's Kitchen Table, What's Up Family Home, Southern Family Life, Mill and Tater, Coffee with Stephanie, Domestic Diva Cooking, and Blessed Little Home. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. I think this was the best Fall Food Friday collab yet. So many good recipes, so many people participated. It was so much fun. We also have some fun collabs coming up for the holidays, so if you didn't get to participate in Fall Food Friday, but you want to participate in a collab, we have some fun ones coming up. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure you come back tomorrow. It's movie night. I don't know yet what we're having for supper, but I know there's gonna be fun and popcorn and more fun. <laughs> Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call